Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 7. There's so much to talk about. So we have just started our journey into The Flash Season 7 with us still wrapping up the conclusion of what the ending of Season 6 was supposed to be. Now, we knew about one thing coming into this season in regards to like a major threat, and that is, of course, Godspeed. But we don't know exactly when he or maybe she is showing up. Is it in the first half of the season? Is it in the back half? That's still a bit unclear, we don't know. And we know that the villain of Chillblade from the comics will feature in multiple episodes of this season in some capacity. They've already filmed a couple. We just don't know how much or how little he will appear in. But thanks to some stuff going down on set, we have not just a general idea of a storyline that, that, that they are doing later on, if not starting in a few episodes, but a clear idea as to what they are doing. Now, firstly, spoiler alert, I need to say this. I usually sometimes don't say this with set photos, but I think because this is almost like confirming a storyline, I have to say this, and it also confirms a returning character. So, spoiler alert, I just need to get that out there. But of course, if you are continuing on the video, be sure to let me know your thoughts, theories, opinions, all that in the comments section down below. I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and you're looking forward to this and the rest of Season 7 of The Flash, want to drop a like on the video, it takes two seconds. So last season, we of course saw the death of the Speed Force storyline um, take place due to the events of Crisis and all of that. We witnessed that, let's not spend too much talking about that, but then we saw in episode one of season seven, the episode that just went past, if you're watching this when the video, when this video is, uh, you know, pretty fresh, we saw the creation of this, you know, the artificial speed force take place thanks to the sacrifice of Nash Wells and I guess all the other Wells. But we know that the artificial speed force isn't the real thing, so surely it cannot be permanent. It can't maintain itself, you know, like the natural or real speed force was able to. But that is only one issue in regards to a force this season. Barry will have to worry about uh, much more than that. And we know that thanks to some set photos. So thanks to Canada Graphs, whose blog will be linked in the description down below with more stuff. We do have some set photos that confirm some characters, as well as a storyline from the comics that is coming to season seven of The Flash. And it, it appears uh, it will be the storyline for the show from episodes four through to 11. Daniel Panderberger, who plays Caitlin in Snow or Frost, on the show said that there's the one to three, you know, episodes one to three, which is, you know, finishing up the Mirror Master arc. Episodes four to 11 is one, you know, story arc or graphic novel. And episodes 12 to 18 is the second. So because we there's some stuff in here that's been filming in like, you know, episodes from like, I think episode five beyond, this is the storyline, presumably from episodes four through to 11, with this stuff also confirming who a previous character was that was seen on set, which I thought would be the case. So I'm pretty happy that it looks like I'm going to be right. And once again, just saying this again before we show anything, spoiler alert, this is your last warning. So from the set photos that we can see on screen right now, we can straight away confirm the return of Michelle Harrison, who of course played Barry's mother, Nora Allen, on the show in previous seasons. However, this is in present day. Now she has been the representation of the Speed Force in the past, but as I mentioned earlier in the video, that died. So what's going on here? Who is she? Now it is hard to tell exactly who she is or what role she's playing, but I personally think she looks a bit darker, like she's meant to be playing a like, maybe like a more evil version of a character or something. Maybe someone who is manipulating people. Maybe it's just the photos that give that off. Maybe in the actual episode, she'll come off in a different way, but the set photos are sort of, you know, giving me that vibe. But of course, that's for us to wait and find out. But in regards to this person that's next to her in the jacket, at first I was like, okay, I have no idea it is because the back was turned, but as soon as the symbol came into play, that's when I was like, oh, okay. So thanks to the symbol that he has on his jacket, we can assume that this is Steadfast or a take on Steadfast from the comics, but hold on, like who the hell is Steadfast? Now Steadfast obviously is a character in the comics who does help Barry Allen with uh, some stuff. I don't want to say exactly because it could happen in the show and it'd be very cool if they did it, but they are actually connected to the Still Force. Now, being connected to the still force allows, you know, whoever or whatever that taps into it to negate motion. So, you know, slow it down. Also having the potential to induce and accelerate the force of energy dispersal. Now, a character that we have met before that, you know, falls in line with this is the turtle. Both versions, the one from season two and the one from last season. Funnily enough, the one from last season I thought was going to be introducing the still force properly um, because the, like the death of the speed force episode was coming up. That didn't play out. Maybe they saw some backlash because of that. Maybe, I don't know. And they decided to put it here. I'm not too sure, but I thought they might've done it then, but they're doing it now. 
Now it will be interesting to see how this character that we see with Nora, if you want to call her, gets his powers and whether it becomes an issue with them. Like, do they do anything weird or evil? But the storyline in the comics does involve Barry as the Flash traveling around and gathering information about the various forces and what's going on. And I can assume the show will interpret that with all of them maybe coming together at some point. So rather than Barry meeting them all individually and that's it, I think we'll see them all come together. But thanks to this steadfast symbol on set, this pretty much confirms that this character with this mask that we have seen on the set uh, a few times for a few episodes, I think starting in episode five, which is called Fear Me. And uh, this is the character of Psyche. Now like steadfast or the still force symbol on the jacket, this character's mask has the Psyche symbol on it or the sage force symbol on it. Now this character in the comics sort of like swings between bad and good activities. Their real name is Bashir. So don't be surprised if you know, he says his name's Bashir on the show because that's what it is in the comics. And on the show, we know he is doing some bad. He's doing some villainous things. So it will be interesting to see whether he is portrayed fully as a villain or someone that is just misunderstood or maybe being manipulated maybe by like the, the character that uh, Michelle Harrison's playing. And then maybe they end up helping Barry take down whoever is ultimately responsible and the threat at the end of this storyline. Now the Sage Force, which uh, Psyche is connected to, enhances the intelligence of its you know, users to super genius levels, as well as granting them psychic powers, such as, te uh, te uh, telep I can't speak, telepathy and uh, telekinesis. And funnily enough, the storyline with all of this in the comics starts with Hunter Zolomon, aka Zoom, tricking certain people into breaking open a certain barrier that releases the other forces. Now on the show, it will be interesting to see whether they, you know, rel relay it back to Zoom in a possible way to introduce him again, or they have it that maybe Eva McCulloch, aka Mirror Master storyline in episode three, finishes with these new forces being released due to something that she does. Or maybe that Team Flash does, maybe Barry does it, who knows? Eric Wallace, the showrunner uh, for The Flash, has hinted at this. So maybe breaking the Mirrorverse or destroying it causes them to be released. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe Eva was keeping them under control the entire time. That'd be, that'd be interesting. But finally, there is one more character who looks like they will be featured. That being the character connected to the Strength Force. So we have the Still Force, the Sage Force, and finally the Strength Force, along with the Speed Force, I guess you'd say. But in regards to these new ones, it's Still, Sage, and Strength. Three S's. Four S's if we include speed. Now this final character is that of Alexa Antigone. I think that's how you pronounce the last name or Fueza. Or Fueza? Fueza. We'll go with Fueza. That's how we'll pronounce it. Now she is from Corto Maltese in the comics. Now I'm not too sure if we will go there because that's like an international thing. I don't know, we go, I don't know if we're going to be going international with the storyline. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I think we might keep it within... I don't know. Could you all have... I guess you could just have it all in Central City. We'll have to wait and see what they do. Now the Strength Force, as it would sort of, you know insinuate by the name, it gives people radically enhanced strength as well as, as well as durability. So they can take it as much as they can give. Now there is a potential set photo of her that I don't know has been released publicly. So if it comes out, I will link it in the comic, uh, the comments, might I say. If it isn't linked down there, it's not out yet, but keep your eyes down there in the comments. If it's there, it's out. If it's not, it's not. Pretty simple. But you might be asking and wondering, okay, well, hold on. What does this all lead up to? Like, we have all these things here, what's going on? Well, to keep it simple, at the base of it, only one force can remain. So they sort of have set to like battle it out. Like that's sort of like the, the lore and history behind it. However, in the comics, Hunter Zolomon or Zoom is involved in the story in the comics where he unleashes all the forces to gain access to their abilities, becoming quite overpowered and on his way to becoming the Flash himself. Now, this could be a role filled by the character that we see Michelle Harrison playing, or she is someone working for the, you know, who is truly after that power. There isn't a ridiculous amount of context at all in the photos. So it's something that we'll have to wait and see how it plays out in the show. But all of this does give us a good tease and expectation and taste for what's to come. But it does pretty much just confirm the general storyline for what we're going to be getting. Because as we've been talking about in previous videos, there hasn't been a lot of hinting at it because it had to finish up last season's storyline. But now we have a good idea as to what's to come. Now I must add before this video is up, this isn't my favorite storyline in the comics. I'm not saying it's number two or number three. I think it's pretty average. And for some, it's actually pretty poor. From memory, it was just like, a lot of people's opinions, like it was just really rushed and it, it felt rushed in the comics. I don't know if it'll feel rushed on the show, I have to wait and see, but the show could interpret it in a different way that is a bit more structured and well played out than what the comic version uh, did. Um, but once again, that's for us to wait and find out. And we'll just have to see how they interpret with certain characters or certain powers and I guess who is behind it all at the end of the day. So yeah, 
I'm intrigued to see what it is. I wouldn't say I'm overly excited, but I'm intrigued. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it showed support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over. Are you excited by this storyline, which these uh, you know, new uh, forces excite you still? Sage, Strength, which one gets you most intrigued? And who do you think is behind it all? Do you, would you like to see Hunter Zolomon or Zoom behind it? Who do you think Michelle Harris and all, you know, the actress that plays uh, Nora on the show is, you know, actually, you know, playing? Let me know. I'm always curious. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.